In this video, I'm going to show you how to install ViewScan on Mac OS X, and I'm going to show you how to scan your first document with ViewScan. The ViewScan installation file that you just downloaded should be in your downloads folder, which in most cases can be accessed in the dock in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Or you can access the installation file from the download section of the browser you're using. Either way, click on the ViewScan installation file to continue the installation. After the ViewScan disk image appears, either double click on the ViewScan icon or drag the ViewScan icon to the Applications folder to continue the installation. I'm going to double click the ViewScan icon. This is going to show a warning dialog like all other applications you've downloaded from the internet. Press Open to continue the installation process. When you first open ViewScan, it will show a tip of the day. Press close to close the tip of the day and start ViewScan. Make sure you have a scanner plugged in and turned on before you open ViewScan. If you don't have it turned on before you start, restart ViewScan once you have it turned on. I'm going to show you how to scan a document using a flatbed scanner. You might have a different type of scanner, like a film scanner or a scanner with an automatic document feeder. The process will be similar on those scanners, but slightly different. Put a document on the flatbed of the scanner. Then press the Scan button in ViewScan. It will then take a few seconds to scan your document. After your first scan, a dialog will appear that prompts you to purchase ViewScan. You can continue to try ViewScan indefinitely, but your scans will have an embedded watermark. If you would like to add another page to the document you just scanned, press the Scan Plus button. If you're done scanning your document, you can either scan a new document by pressing the scan button or view the document you just scanned by pressing the view button. Your document is saved automatically so you don't need to press the view button if you want to find it manually. After you press the view button, ViewScan will open the document that you just scanned using the default application for opening PDFs, which in most cases will be the preview application. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for downloading ViewScan.